Walker Bueller faced a challenging journey in his most recent rehab appearance as he struggled to regain his fitness and accuracy on the mound. Team manager Dave Roberts had optimistic expectations for Bueller's performance in the game against AAA Oklahoma City last Thursday. He was expected to throw between 80 and 85 pitches, but unfortunately the night didn't go as expected due to some command issues. Bueller was removed from the game after just 2.2 innings, demonstrating difficulty controlling his pitches. Of the 68 pitches he threw, only 34 were considered effective, and he allowed two runs early in the game, the result of two bases on balls and two singles allowed. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive the latest news from the Dodgers. During the course of the game, Bueller continued to face challenges, resulting in a less-than-expected performance. He ended up giving up four singles, conceding four bases on balls and allowing two runs during his two and two-thirds innings of work, while also managing to strike out three opponents. A concerning aspect of Bueller's performance was his lack of control over pitches, especially considering this was his first game with a fully automated strike zone. Alex Friedman, Oklahoma City's communications director, noted on his Twitter account that the pitcher checked the local scoreboard several times during the game, indicating possible difficulties in adapting to the new officiating system. Although Bueller still displayed consistent velocity on his fastball, ranging between 94.6 miles per hour and 95.9 miles per hour, and had occasional success with his cutter, he had difficulty finding the strike zone, with most of his pitches falling outside the strike region. Initially, there was optimism regarding Bueller's imminent return to the Dodgers the following week. However, after four rehab appearances, three with Oklahoma City and another with Low A Rancho Cucamonga, his performance statistics raised some concerns. His current ERA of 4.26, along with a total of 11 strikeouts and seven bases on balls conceded during his rehab outings, suggests there is still work to be done before he is ready to return to the majors. It's important to note that Bueller has yet to go five innings in any of his rehab games to date, maxing out four and two-thirds innings in a game played on April 6. The Dodgers coaching staff and fans will certainly be following Bueller's progress closely and hope he regains his optimal form soon to contribute significantly to the team's success. Now we would like to know your opinion on Walker Bueller's performance in his latest rehab outing. Do you believe he will be able to overcome these difficulties and return to his best level? How do you see the impact of this situation on the team's performance for the remainder of the season? Leave your comment below and like the video for more Dodger news here. See you soon.